Welcome everyone on this Java tutorial. So in the last tutorial, we have found some lost images using some of powerful feature of Java NIO API. So here I have the same project with some refactoring. So in the main method, we'll use the walk method. So it's static method. This method is returning a stream. It's from files class. It's a class from the Java NIO API and it's since Java 1.8. So this method will walk the file tree at a given starting file. So this method will just need a starting pad. So first we build our pad object using the pads interface and a source URI. For example, here I have chosen a landscape directory just here, full of subdirectory, some text file, PowerPoint file, Word file, and some images. And th in the subdirectory, we can find different type of file. Just here. So in the last time, we first walk at the starting of the source folder then for each file I will check if this file is a JPEG image using the static method prop content type then if it's JPEG image I will simply copy past this file in uh, into my target folder which is target let's share So currently the target folder is empty, but if I run my program just here, so on the right in the console, we can see the different file. So here we can see the different file on my target folder. Because, for example, sometimes we have some lost images in the sub sub directory of uh, some pad, and instead of going in each directory, you can simply uh, write this program and retrieve all your file and put it in some separate folder, like here. So, in this tutorial, we'll find other kind of file for example word file so here instead of find uh, of checking uh, if it's jpeg image i will create another method so here is word file then for the first element of prop content type result it must be application so the second element must be equal to this value and this value it depends on the version of your office for example here i am on windows uh, 10 with uh, uh, 2016 uh, office microsoft office so this value it depends but you can run a simple program with a simple check using the prop content type static method and do some reverse engineering to anticipate the value of the prop content type result so here i want only word file so the source is the same landscape and the folder will be target so run so here i am retrieving this value is for PowerPoint file. So I had only one PowerPoint file. So I will delete it. Then use the value for Word file. So here it will be for Word file. Run. So I'm getting all the word file created in the landscape directory and subdirectory. 
and you can create uh, another method so is powerpoint file or is ppt file so here the value will be this one so i will only copy past powerpoint file i will delete this run and it's done and you can also do um, some better stuff for example here in the target i will create another ppt folder and another word folder so here target word so here it will be word this here and another word for powerpoint file so here ppt and target ppt so here for example if it's powerpoint file i will target the result to the powerpoint directory and if it's a word file i will target the result to the word directory so like this we can run a big program with all uh, file separation that we want uh, then run the program and have a complete result at the end and i can also for example create a new image target so here image target image so i will add another condition else if it's a jpeg image it will go to the target image so now we are good we create another folder image then in the landscape folder i will create other ppt file powerpoint file okay and some lost level for example here other powerpoint file with different name now we are good so landscape is full of different kind of file target directory is empty those folder too so let's go run now i am good so here in the word folder i have all my word file powerpoint folder or my powerpoint file different because here we use replace existing we, ca we cannot have uh, the same file we should uh, two file with the same name uh, so in the word we have some word file powerpoint also and image we have our our image so our file are separated and on the right you are seeing all the file name so you can do this for every kind of file for example for text file some bash file and uh, some video uh, if you have a big file system and many uh, files there uh, so before to end this tutorial we'll do some refactoring here so here uh, there is some duplication 
and the value changing every time is only target so I can I can uh, do my condition here another condition and the last one for jpeg image so here I will have a target so the target will be null so equal to null as the first value then here so my target will be equal to the value that depends on the uh, on, on the type of file oh uh, no sorry target equal equal okay now we are good so i will delete all this so it's uh, more cl much cleaner so here ppt and word for word file and image for image and we have to give a default value so the default value will be uh, dun dun. I won't give a default value and here so if target is null so I won't do anything so return so the code now is much more cleaner then now let's delete all this and run so we have uh, an exception because I have to create the folder before so we delete all the file inside my different target folder now we are good so let's go and now it's working well I have all my file so you can change the source pad and put uh, another big source pad I won't do that because I have some uh, some private uh, file so um, we can still refactor our code here for example the get pad here so get pad uh, for example we can create a method so private the return type will be pad here build pad then we will give it a string the string will be the uri string uri then here I will simply return the value here you are right instead of calling pads get every time so here for example the source folder uh, so I will use directly the new method here it must be static so it's better now I delete uh, some code okay and I can do the same here so build pad and here give it my string build pad build pad 
Sorry. Target image. So now we are good. We have a clean program and a useful program to find some stuff and in the same time practicing some feature uh, on uh, Java 8. Okay. I will delete all my image. So let's go. You have to always test your code after refactoring. Rule number one. So we are good. We have a realab realable uh, program to find different kind of file. And you can do some reverse engineering on any file to recognize uh, its prop content type result. So thank you for watching and subscribe for more video on last future of Java. Thank you.